hello everyone welcome again in this video we are going to go through the chain code life cycle introduced in 2.0 uh, there are some additional things they have added into 2.0 in the life cycle so coming to the first one that is uh, creating the package we have to create the package of our smart contract so in the previous video i would we already gone through that fabcar smart contract chain that is chain code so we have to first step is the package the chain code the second step is installing that package on each and every peer third step is the in querying the installed chain code on each peer the fourth step is approving that chain code in fabric 2.0 they have introduced additional steps for before instantiating the chain code let's assume that we have a multiple organization and two organization approval is needed before committing the chain code so in that case we have to approve that each organization need to approve that chain code as per the endorse life cycle endorsement policy signature policy you can say and once the chain code got sufficient approval we can commit the chain we can commit that chain code but before that we have to check whether chain code commit readiness at the step 50 is the step 50 chain code commit readiness that is checking the chain code readiness whether let's assume right now in our network we have two organizations and both of the organization need to approve that chain code we have approved the chain code already and we're waiting for their approvals so before committing the chain code into the network we have to check the commit readiness if both organizations approve the chain code as per the lifestyle endorsement policy once we got a sufficient approval we'll get proper commit readiness I will show exactly how it looks like. Next step is the committing the chain code to the peer. Once we commit the chain code, again we will query that committed chain code. And the eighth step is once this chain code committed, we can invoke initialize function from the chain code. Once initialize invocation takes place, that it means we have instanti instantiated chain code. And the ninth step is invoking the transactions. Once our chain code is installed and instantiated, we can later invoke the transactions. So once we invoke the transactions, finally whatever the transaction we have invoked, we can query for those transactions. These are the total 10 steps we have to follow. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will be going through the code. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the more update.